there needs to be moved. So click down here and we'll move it right down here. Well, look at what happened. See how it was up here? It says that this has been moved down and then over here, this is where it was moved from and uh, moved it. It's an insertion. And so you can see that each one of these things has a different look and feel to it on the changes. Well, how do you change that? Maybe you don't like the way that looks. I mean, red sounds like, oh, that's that color. Can you make those changes? Absolutely. When you come up here to the tracking and you come over here and it says, you know, the balloons and the track changes here, you can click the down arrow and click change tracking options. Here also is where you can change that username that we're talking about. But we'll go ahead and click change the tracking options. And so I'll go ahead and bring this down so you can see it. And see right now, I've got insertions are done with an underline. And then you color it by the author. So each different author and each different person that comes in here is going to have a different color. Then deletions are going to be strike through. You notice over here that my strike through right there. Then we have our changed lines are done in the outside border. So if we make any changes, it's going to put the information over here. If you do any moves, if it's moved from, you put a double strike through with green. If it's moved to, guess what? Double underline and also green. You can do table cell highlighting. The formatting, if I make a change to the formatting, I could say, uh, you know, maybe color only. Maybe I want to do, a, uh, uh, let's see, italics. That's a good one. And change it by author. So now what will happen is um, I'll go ahead and move this up. I'll go ahead and click OK. Uh, oh, by the way, the balloons. The balloons are over here on the side. We say that we want to use them in print and layout only for comments and formatting. I can change this always. So every single thing that I do will always have a balloon. We'll say comments and formatting. Preferred width, 3 inches. That's how wide it is over here. And then do you want it on the right margin? You can put it over here to the left if in case you know some people like it on the left. So if I turn it over to the left and show lines connecting to the text that were done, you can see that right here. Okay, uh, Paper orientation and printing. This is important especially because sometimes just to see everything, it might force it into a landscape or auto uh, change it from portrait to landscape. Well, you know, that's on auto. I like to preserve it so that way the when it prints, even if you're printing, um, you're just going to have to, you know, you don't want anything to change on that. Okay, so we go ahead and we click OK. And then sure enough, look at what happened. I made some changes here. So now the comments are now over here on the left-hand side. Now let's do some formatting changes because remember I made that. Let's say I want to change this to bold. So I come over here and I highlight this, come to home, and I go and hit bold. Look at what happened. Remember I said a format change would make it italicized. So it shows the bold, but it italicized it. Now this would be confusing if you didn't know that your track changes were on. Why? Because you're like, wait a minute, I just wanted to bold it. I don't want to italicize it, but it went ahead and it's going to show it that way on your track changes. But it does tell you, hey, by the way, it was formatted and Chris Ward did it and he just changed it to bold. Okay, so now we've got all these changes that I've made. I've added comments, I've moved things, and I've done this. Now I want to send this off to one of, uh, or actually I'm going to send it to two people. If you remember from our Outlook Nugget series, I've got Bob Jones and Madison Brown who are on my team, and I'm going to send this document to both of them, have them make some changes, and then by the end of this nugget, we're going to, of course, compare them and, and make the changes. So first off, I'm going to go ahead and save this document. So I hit the Save button. It's now saved it with these changes. And then what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to send it. So you, what you do is you click on the Office button, and you'll look down here and you'll see send. Now, when you do this, you can say send a copy of the document to other people. This is great for collaboration. Now, one of the ways you can do this, if people don't have email, maybe they're but they have a their access to a fax, you can use an internet fax service that you've been set up and uh, send it to them and then they can go and pick it up and it will have all the printed stuff. You can say, I want those changes printed out and then they can maybe make written comments on it and they can fax it back to you and then you can make those changes. So it is possible to collaborate even if someone doesn't have email or electronic access. So now we'll say email. We want to send a copy of the document, an email message as an attachment. So I go ahead and say that. Uh, which profile do I want to use? Well, uh, right now I want to use my Outlook, so we go ahead and click OK because I have Outlook in play. It then goes through and says, all right, you're going to send this off, and so Outlook opens up. Here's my message, 
and it's going to automatically. And by the way, it depends on what your, uh, you know, whatever you're using. If you're using like Novell's Groupwise, and that is what you're using, even though you're using an Office product, it will open up your default mail program. In this case, hey, I'm using Office. 2007, so I am going to have Outlook. You can choose and make that change. So we're going to say, I'm going to send this to Bob Jones. There's my Bob Jones. And I'm going to send it to Madison Brown. So I'm sending it to both of these people. And in the subject line, it's going to put whatever the attached document is. Now I can change that. And I'll say, edits needed. And then I'll type down here, hey gang, please make some edits on these doc on this document okay so that's what I'm gonna do and uh, send this out now you'll notice down here I've got this window security alert and that says all right um, you know Microsoft Word is gonna want to uh, you know send this out are you sure you want to do this and we're gonna say no it's okay unblock that this is a great security feature some of you might see that some of you might not it depends on how you have your program set up okay just to warn you ahead of time so we'll bring this up and we'll say please make some edits to this document Chris and now I'm going to send out the uh, history of instruments to them so I come up here and I go ahead and I click send and it automatically sends off that document off to Bob and Madison so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and pause this video this nugget video and we're gonna go ahead and go over to Bob's computer and show you how Bob's gonna receive this and make some changes and then behind the scenes just to let you know I'm gonna have Madison do some changes too so later on when we merge the documents you'll be able to see some of the changes that everybody has made so here we are over on Bob Jones computer so I'll go ahead and open up my Outlook because sure enough here's that email from myself Chris Ward over here to Bob with that document so if I uh, uh, bring this down here so we can see everything I double click and open it up and it says yep here it is to Bob and uh, Madison hey gang please make edits so I'll go ahead and save this document and I'll go ahead and put it here into my documents the history of instruments I click save and that's done so I'll go ahead and close this and minimize this and then I've got uh, Microsoft's Word 2007 open I come over here and I click on open and now I can find of course my history of instruments outline too notice when I roll over it says the author is Chris Ward and so now I know I'm gonna have this so I click on it I click open and bada bing bada boom here it is here is my history of instruments outline now remember I went ahead and I put in the track changes right now while I was talking did you see what happened over here yeah that's right the markup area appeared because Word 2007 said hey Chris had the track changes turned on on this document so he must have been editing it so if I come over here to review sure enough uh, my tracking has been uh, turned on so if I roll down here you can see here is my uh, settings here so I've got my comment my formatted but you might say well wait a minute Chris uh, I thought you put it over on the left hand side ah well that's because Bob has his settings to where he puts his markup over on the left now if you you know again remember everybody can be a little bit different also notice something interesting Bob's colors the way it shows up remember I had red with a, a line through it and uh, red with an underline that's a different now I have the same on moving right here so I, d I do have that same and then here's my comment over here and I said are there any other ethnic groups of this period we should cover so what we can do is now that I see this I can come over here and start adding my own edits or if I was the official editor I can accept edits and changes we'll see that later on when I we send all this back over to Chris well myself now let's say I want to go ahead and say ancient history and uh, Bob wants to add a comment to ancient history so Bob's gonna click new comment now look at this it says Bob Jones one that's because I'm the one on here and these are uh, you know CW's over here so I'm gonna say the comment is um, how ancient is ancient 
Good question. So there's a comment there. So I've added a comment. Now I'm going to come over here. By the way, remember how I, I formatted it as bold, but over there it looked like bold and italic? See here, I see it as it actually is. It's bold and it, it has uh, just the standard bold. There is no italics formatted. So let's go ahead and uh, do this one, though, and we'll go ahead and do it in italics. So I'll come over here and I'm going to make that into italics. Now notice, interesting, it says it's formatted as italics. And it says, well, the font is italics, but there's no real change. There's no real uh, way of knowing this except for the little balloon over here. That's because the settings that Bob has is different. He is not said. So if we come over here to track changes, and I go ahead and change the tracking options, bring this down here, you'll see on the formatting, it says there is none. We don't do anything color or anything like that. Now, of course, I can do uh, color only, so we'll change the color, so that way we can notice, and we'll make a change based on our author, and I'll go ahead and click OK. Well, now it changes the color to a red, because red is the color of Bob's um, format changes. So we can see that we've added that. Now I'm going to go ahead, and we'll do one more change here. Uh, let's uh, go ahead and um, insert something here and we'll say that um, Alexander the Great was a tremendous harp player okay so we've got that now I've added something I went ahead and um, did some changes here I added a comment so Bob we should say has now completed the changes that he wants to do right okay not a problem so I can come up over here I'm gonna go ahead and click here save as word document and this time we're gonna say that the name of this is outline dash Bob Joan edits so that way I know that this is different than that original History of Instruments Outline 2. Okay? So now I'm going to go ahead and send this off, or actually save it first. Then I'll come up here and just like I did over on my computer when I was sending, I come down here to send. I send email. It's going to open up my Outlook and say, all right, who do you want to send this to? Well, I want to send it back to Chris Ward there at CBT Nugget Lab. And I'll say, hey, boss. Here's the edits you were looking for. Bob. So Bob's going to send that off. So I go ahead and click send. Now it's saying, oh, by the way, you're trying to do this encrypt the message. Now I can change the security settings on the fly. Uh, normally I would have a digital ID. I'm going to say no. I don't want to add a digital sig signature to this message. I click OK and then it's sent. So that, by the way, if you're wondering why, I did the Outlook series, the Nugget series on this computer and I haven't uh, uh, re uh, renegotiated the uh, digital IDs for that. So that's why you saw that. Okay, so we've made the changes. Now, guess what? Over behind the scenes, I already made changes on Madison's computer onto the document. I've made the changes here. Now we're going to go back to my Chris Ward computer, and we're going to see what happens when I take all these and compare my changes and either accept or reject the changes and merge the documents. So here we are back on Chris Ward. That's me, computer. And notice I've got an email from both Madison saying, here's my edits, and Bob Jones also getting edits. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open up the emails and save. And notice it says the History of Instruments Outline MB Edit. Great. So I'm going to go ahead and save as and put this in. Two. Now here's my History of Instruments Outline 2, the one I'm working on. Now I'm going to also have Madison's. I click Save. We'll close hers, open up Bob, and there's Bob. <laughs> I know everyone loves because I put his uh, picture here in my thing. So we'll get uh, the Bob Jones edits, save as. We'll add those there. And so now I've got these files, and now I can start comparing, right? So let's go ahead and minimize that. So now you can see that. And we're down here. Now to do this, we go up to Review. Now right here under Compare, we can come over here and we can do a compare of the documents. You can compare or combine multiple versions of a document. Well, right now I've got my History of Instruments Outline 2 open. Let's go ahead and click, and we are going to combine or compare two versions. This is called the legal black line. This is if I want to compare mine versus, let's say, Madison's, or mine versus Bob's. Or you can combine all the revisions into a single dom document. So when I click Combine, I'm going to say, well, I want to go ahead and say we're going to use the history of the instruments 
in the revised we're gonna go ahead and browse and I'm gonna select this one as well as this one so first we'll start off with the BJ edits we'll click open and I'll say alright let's go ahead and label the unmarked changes with Bob Jones we go ahead and click OK and now check this out we have right here the combined document 